What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. And today we will be creating our own cryptocurrency in under 10 or maybe even under 5 minutes. The reason I want to do this is to number one, show all of you who invest in cryptocurrencies how easy it is to create one. Sometimes people think that all of these creators of tokens and coins are geniuses, that they have some kind of special competence. And this was the case in the early days when you had to set up your own network, when you had to set up your own ecosystem that required a lot of skill and a lot of competence. Nowadays, you just create an ERC20 token. Many of these ICOs you see are just creating a simple ERC20 token. This is exactly what we're going to do today. We will implement the ERC20 interface. We will create our own token and launch it on the Ethereum testnet. Then we're going to go to Etherscan and actually see that Etherscan recognizes our cryptocurrency, that Etherscan can follow our cryptocurrency. And so this will give you a very good overview of how the creation of cryptocurrencies work when we're talking about ERC-20 tokens. And this will also be extremely interesting for people who are interested in the technology, that you will actually see how to go from scratch and create a token from scratch and launch a token on the Ethereum network from scratch. So this is going to be very exciting for me to do. I hope you are excited as well. If you are, make sure to press that like button and let's start our clocks and see how fast we can code this cryptocurrency. Let's get into it guys. First of all, you need to have the MetaMask plugin into your browser because we will be using a website called Remix in order to code our contracts and this website can then deploy contracts onto the Ethereum network. However, to do that, it needs you to have MetaMask installed on your browser. So this is a plugin. So go ahead and install MetaMask. And then when you open MetaMask, it will look something like this. Make sure you go to the testnet and there are several different testnets. And so what we want to go to do is to go to the Rinkeby testnet and Rinkeby is a, a subway station in Stockholm <laughs> and Droopstian as well. So I was very surprised when I saw these names, but uh, the security lead on Ethereum is actually from Sweden. So this is why we have Rinkeby here and Rinkeby honestly is a very bad neighborhood. You do not want to live in Rinkeby guys. So when you do that, now you also need to get some testnet uh, ether. And this is something you can do using the, uh, the faucet. So you need to go to Rinkeby Authenticated Faucet. I will link it in the description. And what you do is that you need to create a post on your social media containing your address. So what you do is that you go here to your account, you copy address like this, and then you need to go on Facebook or Twitter and post that address. And then you need to post the URL for that social media post here on this website and then you can get Ether. The reason they have this system is so that people cannot just, you know, take a lot of Ether out of the system, a lot of testnet Ether. So once you have done so, what you should have is an account with a couple of Ether. So as you can see, I have 9.992 9 Ether currently on my testnet account, on the Rinkeby testnet. Moving on. The good thing with ERC20 is that it is so extremely popular and so many people have already implemented the protocol many times. And honestly, it is not a hard protocol, but for you, if you're just starting out, it is good to have some kind of boilerplate you can play around with so that you don't have to build everything from scratch because there's really no reason to reinvent the wheel unless you want to learn and then you can just start from scratch. But for the sake of this tutorial, we will go to Consensus GitHub and we will find their tokens repository here. And then if you go to Contracts and then to EAP20, you'll see they have three uh, Solidity contracts. And so this is where we will now go to Remix here and start creating these uh, contracts ourselves. So first of all, let's create our token contract. It will be called, and by the way, you click on this little plus sign here to create a contract. Let's call it uh, uh, the best coin. So we're going to create the best 
token actually, not a coin. The best token. Bam. So what we need to do is that we need to go here and copy this EAP20 sol. Now you pr uh, paste it here and you need to rename the contract from this. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yes, I can. So first of all, let's rename the contract name from this to the best token so that the contract name is actually what our token is called. And now there is some, there is, there is quite a few comments here, but we can remove them for now. And so first of all, you'll see some variables here. So this variable will hold the balances. It is a map from address to unsigned integer, basically keeping track of how many coins each user has, each address has. And this is the allowance map, basically keeping track of who is allowed to spend which coins. So for example, I can allow you to spend coins, but we do not need to <coughs> talk about these technicalities a lot. I would just, I just want to show you how to uh, alter the smart contract a bit and how you can deploy it. And so the second thing you need to do is to uh, rename this function here to the best token as well from EAP20, because th this, this function needs to match the contract name because it is the construct uh, constructor function like this. And then uh, what we want to do as well is to go back here and you see that this contract imports another contract called EAP20 interface, meaning that we need it. We need this file as well. So go here and just copy everything in here as well and create a new file. Uh, let's see, this is the default thing. You can delete it. But here we want to create a new file and call it uh, EIP20 interface and paste this code and it basically defines the interface that our token will implement and conform to as you remember from the Wikipedia it is total supply balance of allowance transfer approved transfer from and this is exactly what we have here as well that we have total supply, balance of transfer, transfer from approve, and so on and so forth. So this is just the interface, the protocol that the coin or token will implement. And here we are saying that our token is this protocol, basically that our token has this functionality outlined in this interface. So that being said, we are actually almost finished. We're actually almost finished. And Whenever we create the smart uh, contract, whenever we create this token, this function will be executed. <coughs> Sorry, yes. this function will be executed first. People wonder if I'm a chain smoker. No, I'm just sick and that's why I'm coughing. I, I do not smoke at all actually. So when we, we create the smart contract, this function, which has the name of the smart contract will be executed first. And as you can see, it needs four things. It needs the initial amount, how many tokens will be in existence. It needs the token name. It needs how many decimals the token has and the symbol. And the function will give the creator of the contract all of the coins. So when we launch this contract, we will get all of the tokens in existence. And then it just saves the variables we specified. So first of all, in order to deploy this on the testnet, because this is ready to deploy, really, we have implemented all of the all of the functions here, and we can talk more in depth about what these functions do. In fact, my friend Philip and I, we are creating a course, a programming course on this. So if you are interested, take a look in the description and you can sign up on our mailing list. We will be selling the course in, in a few months. So if you're interested in smart contract development on Ethereum, on LISC and on EOS, we will cover these three platforms and maybe we will even cover NEO as well. So if you are serious about creating smart contracts, take a look in the description. But for now, we will not talk exactly what this everything does here. We will just know that in order to deploy the smart contract, what you need to do is to go to run here and then in environment, you need to select injected web three. So default is just JavaScript virtual machine, meaning that this website will pretend to be the Ethereum virtual machine. It will not send the smart contract to the network. It will not do that. 
it will just run it in the website. We will not do it. Instead, we want to push the contract to the Ethereum network. Therefore, we choose injected web three like this. And now that we have done so, we can deploy the best token onto the network. So let's see how it goes. In order to do that, we need to specify all of these inputs, as we mentioned. So first of all, we need the initial amount. Let's say that we have one 10,000 coins is the, uh, is the amount, initial amount. And this is going to be the total supply as well, because total supply is initial amount. Next, we have the token name. We need to call it the best token, like this. And next we need uh, how many decimal units. Let's have zero. We do not want to have decimal units. And the symbol is the best token, TBT. All right. So now we have specified all of these four inputs that our contract needs. So we click create. And as you can see, MetaMask shows us the pop-up because we need to spend some ether in order to uh, get it on the testnet. And as you can see, we have Rinky B4 Rinky B4 here selected. So now we just wait. We have this pending transaction. Yes, and so now we have created this contract. First of all, what we can do is check the balance. So if I go to my MetaMask here and I copy my address, and I paste the address in quotes in balance off here because you can see balance off it requires an address. So what you see here are actually functions we have in the contract and balance off needs an address. So in quotes, I need to insert my address. And if I get balance off, you see I have 10,000 coins because this is uh, uh, how the contract worked here in the constructor that it gave the owner of the contract the creator of the contract, all of the coins, all right? Now, let's try transferring some of the tokens to another account. So, so just for fun, I have my uh, wallet here as well in the Ethereum wallet application. This is all on testnet as well. So let's transfer some tokens, the best tokens, to this address, to this account. Let's see. So I copy this. It will give me a warning that this is a testnet address. And here I can now transfer in quotes, I insert the address and also how many tokens I want to transfer. So in quotes address, then comma a thousand. So I want to transfer a thousand uh, tokens from my account here to this account I have entered, right? And I press transfer. And of course, I, now MetaMask shows up again. I press submit and it should now be completed that we have we have this pending transaction, but it will soon be mined and it will soon, soon be put in a block and this will complete. And now we have zero pending transactions, meaning that this transaction has been completed. Now, how do we see these transactions moving? First of all, what I can do is I can just check the balance of this account. Now it is 9,000. It was 10,000, now it's 9,000. And if I go here and I copy this address, uh, let's see couldn't copy again because it gives me the warning. Let's see, copy. And I paste it here again. You see now it is a thousand. But the cool thing is that if we copy the, uh, the address of the contract, so this is the contract and we copy the address here, we go to Etherscan and very important that you enter rink rinkyb.etherscan.io and then token search. I will link in the description. And you search for the contract address well, you see that it has found our token, which is pretty fun. You see, token attributes found. We have 10,000 coins. It is the best token, TBT, zero decimals, okay? And you see that we have uh, one transfer event one minute ago from uh, this address to this address of 1,000 uh, tokens. And this is exactly what we did. This is exactly what we did, guys, because you see that the address is 0 0.90 and then we have our second address which is this one uh, 0xb1 and this is here 0xb1 and as you can see now we have our token which we created here in the remix uh, 
compiler in the remix IDE, we have deployed it using our MetaMask plugin by specifying injected web3. And then we can play around, we can send to different addresses and everything we do will be recorded on Etherscan. So guys, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you are now smarter and you know what the ERC20 is, how it works. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow morning for Good Morning Crypto. 8 a.m. Central European time. Be there, guys. Have a great night and I'll see you soon.